For the longest time, the story of creek dwellers in Delta State has been characterized by agitation and pain due to lack of development, especially in the health sector, leaving inhabitants with no other option than to take long and often futile trips to worry and other upland communities in search of healthcare centers. But thankfully, their stories don't end there. Through fiscal prudence and dogged determination, hope continues to surge in these communities once labeled difficult to reach and develop. As Senator Dr. Ifan Yokowa, Governor of Delta State, ingrains the indelible footprint of government's presence in their domains, all with the desire to ensure positive health outputs and better standards of living for the people. My name is Daisy Morsi, and I'm currently at the Tunde Smooth Jetty in Wari, about to board a boat with my teammates to take you on a journey to different communities in the creeks to bring to you true testimonies from the people. Stay with us. You guys have your life jackets on. Can I have mine, please? Thank you. It's about to be a long ride, <laughs> very long ride. After a long ride from Wari with Soware, our tour guide, we arrived at Obotebe community. We took a short walk into the community from the jetty and made acquaintance with some members of the community who in turn took us on a brief tour of their community. We visited their primary health facility where although no patient was on admission, medical practitioners were on ground and showed us around the hospital. Smart Delta's Daisy sat for a brief health check with the assistant doctor, Anthony Ebibofa. The heart rate is 77 feet per minute. According to WHO standards, your blood pressure level is optimal. Um, perfectly fine. Yeah. Most of our women. Uh, we spoke to the practitioners available, being themselves indigents of the community, and they expressed their pleasure at having a functional health facility in their domain where people can be treated and where they can practice after several years of lack. They also informed us of the expansion plans of the state government. I'm so happy that we have health facility here now because most of our women and men, when they are sick, they used to travel out. And maybe before you know, it's too late, they give up. We give thanks to COA for bringing this health facility here down to all that we are benefiting from. Most of our women or our children that are sick, we manage the cases here. We give them COA's free drugs. We give them free treatment. We feel very happy that Go has brought this one for a very long time before this place was closed. Then our doctor, like he said, they are Comboye and Lissy, Jerry. He tried managing this place and now the place is now working very fine. And he always go out to bring free drugs and children, they come for immunization like this one and others, one. even pregnant mothers, they came here for free treatment. Back on the streets of Obotebe, we sampled the opinions of a number of persons and they willingly obliged us an interview. Hear them. As the government, they help us so. We thank God for everything, one another, and they do for us. Good day. Everything day. We happy. Government uh, do a center for us. So now they now they from the born. All these small, small children, if anybody where they sick, now for them, now free treatment now that they give us. So we are happy for that one. We appreciate government for giving us primary school and secondary school, an health center, jetty, water. We appreciate government for the ones that they have given to us. Smart Delta. After a day's rest, we continued our expedition in the creeks. We journeyed early in the morning from our hotel in Wari to Koko by road to meet with Samuel Khalil, an aide to the local government chairman, who would serve as our tour guide in Wari North. We cruised through the Beni River on a long, bumpy ride and eventually arrived at Obogoro community. 
After a brief downpour, we made our way to the cottage hospital. We toured the facility with the doctor and nurse on ground and thereafter spoke to them. Before now, we recorded so many lost along the way when they are trying to rush someone to Sapele. But since this hospital has been built here, at least it didn't take much uh, time before getting here. And much life had been saved as well. So we want to say a big thank you to our Excellency Dr. Ifani Okowa for bringing this uh, life saving hospital to our domain. The way it is now is a standard hospital because we have the delivery room, all equipment are there, we have emissions for circumcision, we have things for emits to treat many emits and cases, oxygen is here too, we have our lab too. My community is blessed and I feel opportune too to have such structure in my own community. We made our way back to Coco in the evening completely drenched but unscathed. The next morning, we set out again, this time to Oguijo. It's intriguing to know that there are several laws on the water, places where you raise your hand at checkpoints, places where you slow down because the community doesn't permit you to ride too fast. But however, I'm enjoying this journey to the creeks. And then in a couple of minutes, we'll be in one of the communities where we'll see healthcare facilities. And like other communities we had previously visited, we got acquainted with some members of the community who showed us around. At the hospital, which although was built by previous administrations and had been shut down for several years, we met practitioners who showed us around just before some patients came into the facility for treatment. We spoke to Tombra Timothy shortly after her treatment to ascertain the level of care she received. When I come, the way they are treating me is okay. And when I even bring my children, the way they are taking care of them, they are trying their best. I'm feeling better. I was having malaria. My temperature was high. I couldn't eat even at night. I was restless, but after taking the treatment, I'm okay now. I'm very, very grateful to COA for providing the health facility in my community for me not to travel out. I say thank you to Okoa. Most of the private we also interviewed the medical team to know the condition of the facility and the level of government intervention they enjoy. Take a listen. The hospital was locked down for about four or five years ago before last year. Our Amiibo Governor Kowa came to rescue the community from going out to other communities for their health services. He now came to reopen the place last year that we now came back to this facility to resume work. Most of the private chemists around, they refer people to the hospital for treatment because of the lab diagnosis that is carried out. It's a really good decision for Governor Kowa to innovate his facility. We have patients all the time. All the money, the afternoon, we have patients. And we normally care for them well. We receive some free drugs from drug revolving funds, such as the ACT, Atemita, Lumefantrin, for treatment of malaria. I'm happy about practicing in a rural place because I feel like it really help this patient, especially the ones with low socioeconomic status, like they can't go to a private hospital, they can't get access to a bigger facility. Another hospital that has been revived is the Okrenkoko Cottage Hospital. The indigents there did not hold back their approval of the state government's contributory health scheme, which enables their women and children enjoy health care at no cost to them, reducing maternal and infant mortality, which had once plagued their community. The place was really in a mess, but when Okowa brought us here, he came and renovated the place and we kick off the work. They brought some hospital equipment, theater things for us to work with. After some time, 
the contributing health scheme came in with their certificate. The advent of Okowa government it has really helped us. We have really seen the improvement in the life of the community. The death rate uh, incidence has already reduced. I see this our governor as a promise keeper based on the fact that most things that he didn't promise us, he accomplished them. We have been enjoying the free scheme of health care in this community below five, six years down. Both the pregnant women, they have been enjoying it too in this Ekrenko community. With this support, things are going very, very good in this community. It's very, very fine. We, they are trying. They make people feel okay, feel fine, the time of need. So we thank Okoa for much of the work you have done for us. Smart Delta. <laughs> wow. Bye bye. This song where you did smile like this. <laughs> Just got through communicating with my guys in the creeks. You know. I beg, speak pigeon for me. <laughs> Not that one that they understand. <laughs> They're very happy now, you know. Um, in those days now, they gonna need to come up from the creeks, travel go upland for them to receive um head care. But the day so happy said this Okoa government don't provide head care for the creeks. Wow. And even uh, wait, let me see. Wait till people wait they up and they enjoy. Now they they enjoy it. Yeah, that's what it means, of course. Leave English. Tell me story. <laughs> As a matter of fact, they don't reduce maternity and infant mortality. And also those when we see they did the equity plan, zero to five years, they know they pay for treatment as well as pregnant women. And even through DROF, they they receive free drugs. Hey, yeah. Now be say, even the indigents, when we say they be medical practitioners, they could be very happy now because they could feel practice within their domain. <laughs> On point. May I not come from Delta, but I they stay Delta State. And I see the good works Governor Okowa they do in the work well well. Confirm. <laughs> Governor Okowa, Tannen Creeks to Urban. Smart Delta. Not too long ago, the people of Opuama community in Egbema Kingdom also had cause to celebrate the medical intervention in their community during the inauguration of their cottage hospital built through a joint venture between NPDC and Elcrest. We want to thank NPDC and Elcrest and the contractor for this facility. And we trust that this facility will be put to use to the benefit of mankind and to the glory of God in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. We believe that when you change what people see, their thinking will change. So here is going to be unique. We're going to still continue to collaborate with the government of Delta State in managing the place to make sure that Primary health care and secondary health care is not lacking here. So that infant mortality and all the indices of health care becomes improved. And even when people fell sick. The people thank the government for alleviating their suffering by making the oil company fulfill their corporate social responsibility, CSR, to the host community. I just thank Delta State government for doing this in our community. You know, like women deliver here, they just go to some other women that we just massage and deliver them. But now, with this, women who are pregnant, they can come for Atinenta, and even when people fell sick, they won't take them to either Coco or Saple or to some other far places for any treatment. They can easily come here for treatment. I'm overwhelmed, indeed. The project that is here is a very marvelous one. I'm short of words to really express my appreciation to NPDC and Aircraft and most especially the state governor who actually initiated this project. In fact, we really appreciate it. And at least it will go a long way to ameliorate the health challenges of the people of this community. His Excellency Senator Dr. Fan Yokowa is known to be to can do, which he has demonstrated once again through this cottage hospital. Before this project came on board, sometimes when our people are in, in need of health issues, we have to transfer them to Ondo State, Saplen, and so many far distances. But with this project right here with our people, is a project that is coming at the right time. 
The representative of the oil company commended the peace and involvement of the government that enabled the project. The government of His Excellency, Dr. Koa, has provided the right environment for the oil companies to operate in the state. And uh, we are glad that Opuama community, since from inception, they've given us 100% cooperation. As an oil company, when we come to an environment, we look at what are the peculiar needs of our host communities. And one of the critical needs is air delivery. And that inspired us to start this project. At an earlier event, still in Egbema Kingdom, particularly in Oprosa community, His Royal Majesty, Bini Pere III, monarch of the Egbema Kingdom, as well as his queen and subjects, extolled the state government for their active role in alleviating the sufferings of their people. Life here had been very, very dull. We died prematurely, pregnant women, Die before you rush them from here to Sapele, Wari, Eko, and so forth. They had died. This, to me, is one of the most important things that I have been yearning for. And the listening governor, in person of Okoa, has done it. This project is a gift from God, something they've been hoping for so many years have come to pass. It is a lost doing. The dream we had for 20 years about did not come true. We are happy people to live to see today. This is something we don't expect. I'm happy in my time. I saw such a team. Where you will pay hundreds of transport to worry supply is here now. Before the establishment of this cottage hospital, our women do travel down to supply to Coco before giving birth. And that costs us a lot. So now that this hospital has been established in this community, it will be of benefit to the women of this community and to the youth and to the elders of this community. In recognition of the importance of clean water to a healthy life and in line with Goal 6 of the Sustainable Development Goals, which seeks to ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all, which invariably improved health outcomes, Governor Koa has cited water facilities in some creek communities lacking clean water. We visited a Zebri community in Bomodi local government area where a water project is cited. We got a little distracted by some indigents frying Gary. We joined them in their chores briefly before continuing into the town. I tried past you. <laughs> We saw a number of indigents going about their business, which includes the use of water. Following the conviction of the people in the quality of water in their community, we took a drink of it and it was indeed refreshing. <laughs> We are getting water from the river or well water. And uh, the waters we are taking at that time, they were not clean as this one. It was affecting us. So I have to appreciate the state government for getting us water like this. And enjoying this water well because they installed it in other communities. So I believe they are also enjoying their own too. By the time they did not bring this water, we are suffering a lot. Mostly like myself, I cannot drink this river water and uh, well water also. Anytime when rain falls, we fetch the rainwater, put alum on it before we drink. But now, as far as government has bring this water to us, we are enjoying it because we cannot go to river anymore. Governor Koa, we thank you for the water that you brought to us. 
The Obogoro people of Wari North, who although surrounded by water, lacked clean water for domestic use, bear a different tale today. The inauguration of a water project in their community marked the end to an age-long challenge. Thank you very much, His Excellency. I don't know. You don't know. We are so much happy because of the new era of this community. Because this community before says place that we cannot even say something consigned. But now the Lord has turned things around during this regime of our dear governor Okoa. And in this community now, we have water, we have a road here, the solar street lights, and as well we have overhead bridge crossing from this Oboro community down to Utonla and lots of things like that. 30 years coming, we are not expecting this, but because of grace of God in life of our leader, his excellency, he give us light, give us water, give us road, fine building. Thank God that he brings us development up for us. I not believe say this guy please go feed day for riverside. Since when I call this place, water day, God go bless them. The water is helping us a lot and it has had more credit to the community and the environment as well. We are very, very happy for that and we are expecting to receive more from the government as well. The interventions of the Delta State Government under Senator Dr. Arthur Ifanyokoa in the Creeks is a testament of true dedication and determination, defying the geographical challenges and huge financial commitment of developing riverine communities to ensure that the promise of prosperity for all Deltans spreads evenly like a blanket over the 17,698 square kilometers mass of the state, even as he continues to strive for a stronger delta. Praise God for co affairs. Praise the Lord, too. Because my name we all gay governor for this delta state. Through two local government, we are not lacking behind again. We have off speed today. And even at present, if you go to Butu there, you will see the doctor, she dang back cat. Before we, when we get outbreak of cholera, you could receive a boat. One. As they carry they go worry, now so people they die. But as for now, <laughs> because Okowa don't ready do what say. Hmm? Make the doctor the read day sit down for the hospital. Cholera break out. We know it come on. But the doctor, the nurse, they stand bang gum because of Okowa. And I say they bring drugs, they come back come. drugs back come. So, with children, them they are safe. We thank God for it. Are they proud of Okowa? Okowa, he they walk. Okowa, you correct. My governor, Boko for you. Okowa, yeah. I say you too much. Why are they? All the roads is there to for us. Why are they? All the secondary school. The feedback segment. This week, we have a commendation on our Instagram from Miss Gold. And it reads, We are very happy with the way Governor Okowa has treated us in the riverine communities. This is the first time we are enjoying this kind of attention. God bless you, sir. I want to urge all the Deltans and all Nigerians and persons from across the world to continue to watch Smart Delta. They're doing so well. It's a good means of communication of what we do in Delta State. I'm quite excited that they've been getting the information out there. If you want to know a lot about what is going on in governance and development in Delta State, continue to watch Smart Delta. You will definitely be able to get all the information that you require. Text your questions to 081 Two one one nine two one three three, or send with a hashtag accent to all our social media platforms. <laughs>
better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa he they do he better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa he they do. I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth say them hila. Okowa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Ekuwe. Come live in Delta. Say me a say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state.